Good afternoon, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to our online Mass. Today, we are celebrating the sixth Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our main celebrant this afternoon is Father Robert Chiesa S.J. Please all stand for the entrance song. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us each one today reflect on how often in life Jesus has not only touched and healed us, but more importantly, how we answer to his call to care for one another. Instead of being fully in the image of God and bringing order in nature, we fell into disorder and have remained indifferent to Jesus' call. We ask for forgiveness before offering the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you tell us, of course I want you to be healed. Cure us of all our uncleanness and disobedience. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus Christ, you came to show us care and compassion, but we recurrently harden our hearts. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the healing power of the Father and the holy way to salvation. Help us not to stumble so often. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Stretch out your healing hand on us. Free us from the contagion of sin and lead us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And, and on earth, earth peace, peace to, to people, people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father. Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten, begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the, are the Most High, Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, with the Holy Spirit, Spirit in the glory of God the Father. The Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for God's wisdom. God our Father, the loving plan of your wisdom took flesh in Jesus Christ and changed mankind's history by his command of perfect love. May our fulfillment of his command reflect your wisdom, and bring your salvation to the ends of the earth. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
first reading. A reading from the book of Genesis. To the woman he said, I will intensify your toil in childbearing. In pain, you shall bring forth children. Yet your urge shall be for your husband, and he shall rule over you. To the man he said, Because you listened to your wife and ate from the tree about which I commanded you, you shall not eat from it. Cursed is the ground because of you. In toil, you shall eat its yield all the days of your life. Thorns and thistles it shall bear for you, and you shall eat the grass of the field. By the sweat of your brow, you shall eat bread until you return to the ground from which you were taken. For you are dust, and to dust you shall return. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, let our response be. I turn to you, Lord, in time of trouble, and you fill me with the joy of salvation. Please repeat. I turn to you, Lord, in time of trouble, and you fill me with the joy of salvation. Happy the man whose offense is forgiven, whose seed is remitted. Oh, happy the man to whom the Lord imputes no guilt, in whose spirit is no guile. Response. I turn to you, Lord, in time of trouble, and you fill me with the joy of salvation. But now I have acknowledged my sins. My guilt I did not hide. I said, I will confess my offense to the Lord, and you, Lord, have forgiven the guilt of my sin. Response. I turn to you, Lord, in time of trouble, and you fill me with the joy of salvation. Rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord, exalt you just. O come, ring out your joy, all you upright of heart. Response. I turn to you, Lord, in time of trouble, and you fill me with the joy of salvation. Second reading, a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Whatever you eat, whatever you drink, whatever you do at all, do it for the glory of God. Never do anything offensive to anyone, to Jews or Greeks or to the church of God. Just as I tried to be helpful, to everyone at all times, not anxious for my own advantage, but for the advantage of everybody else, so that they may be saved. Take me for your model as I take Christ. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand up for the gospel affirmation. All together, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. A great, great prophet, prophet has, has appeared, appeared among us. God has visited his people. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. A leper came to Jesus and pleaded on his knees. If you want me, if you want to, he said, you can cure me. Feeling sorry for him, 
Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him. Of course I want to, he said, be cured. And the leprosy left him at once and he was cured. Jesus immediately sent him away and sternly ordered him, mind you, say nothing to anyone, but go and show yourself to the priest and make the offering for your healing prescribed by Moses as evidence of your recovery. The man went away, but then started talking about it freely and telling the story everywhere so that Jesus could no longer go openly into any town, but had to stay outside in places where nobody lived. Even so, people from all around would come to him. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. In reading about the victim of leprosy in today's Gospel, we can immediately associate him with today's victims of the COVID-19 coronavirus. Today's victims, too, are isolated from society. And like the leper, they could not even approach Jesus, if in, even if he were standing right here in our midst. But that is precisely what the leper did. Somehow, he managed to break through the taboos, like shouting unclean to warn people away from him, and being forced to live in isolated places. But there he is, at Jesus' feet, begging, if you want to, you can cure me. Jesus also breaks through a major taboo and touches the man, saying, of course I want to be cured. And the leprosy left him at once, and he was cured. But Jesus did not cure all lepers of all time. So we ask, why all this suffering, especially of innocent children or helpless people? Of course, much suffering can be blamed on our inconsiderate treatment of one another. All suffering caused by war can be put at humanity's doorstep. And many natural disasters as well come from how we have disturbed the ecosystem. Putting these aside, the big question remains, why so much suffering if God is so good? Suffering is part of the reality of being limited. But God comes to us in Jesus, and Jesus himself suffers along with us. The English translation we read today says, feeling sorry for him, but that is a very, very weak translation of a word that means that the whole situation resonated deeply inside him with gut feeling of compassion for the victim and even anger toward the disease. Jesus is full of compassion, meaning that he suffers with the victim. He is our companion and our strength in suffering. Jesus raises the sick, touches lepers, welcomes children, gives support and encouragement, blessing and companionship to all. But his healing does not directly extend to the whole world, to all people of all times. It works through us in various ways. For example, medical science and various technologies have brought us great health and happiness. And now we have vaccines to help us out of the coronavirus situation. But there are still many physical and spiritual miseries that we have to take care of. We are the hands and feet, the eyes and smiles of Jesus in our world today. I felt this when I spent uh, six weeks in a hospital some years ago and felt the hand of God working for me through the professional knowledge and compassionate hands of the doctors and nurses and even of the cleaning and maintenance staff. Christian charity is a response 
to immediate needs. Feed the hungry, clothe the naked, visit the sick, help the homeless. They do not need explanations or sermons. They need our presence, our nearness, and whatever help we can give them. We can give them our time and our respect so as to take them seriously and encourage them in their struggle against sadness and grief. We may have to bear with their irritability and frustration, their anxiety for the future, their frustrated hopes. It may not be easy to listen, but if we put ourselves in their place and listen to what they say or do or what they do not say, we may help them come to terms with themselves, strive for interior peace, and come to believe in the bigger healing that Jesus brought about through his own suffering and death. The assurance and healing power of the resurrection. Or as St. Paul says, I try to be helpful to everyone at all times, not anxious for my own advantage, but for the advantage of everyone else. Those limited miracles that Jesus performed point beyond death to the Father of mercy and compassion who shares our suffering when Jesus suffers with us and for us to give us eternal life. Eternal life does not mean some future afterlife floating around on fluffy clouds. Eternal life means that God is with us here and now, giving us his Son in the Eucharist and filling us with his Spirit to guide us. God loves us so much that he made himself able to live and rejoice with us, to share our suffering and death, so as to show the way to eternal life and ask us to be associated with him in healing the many wounds of the world. Did you notice the way the first reading today ended? You are dust and to dust you shall return. That reminds us that Lent begins this coming Wednesday, Ash Wednesday. One of the words the priest can use in distributing the ashes is, remember that you are dust, and to dust you shall return. But you don't hear that much now. Most priests use the other formula, repent and believe the gospel. Surrounded by so much corona sickness and death, we realize our need for the helping hand of the Lord to raise us up and truly believe in the good news of the gospel. The ashes will be distributed next Sunday at the masses. And today we are observing a family day in this parish. I pray that the Lord may bless your families and keep them from sickness, but also that you may learn how to cope with sickness or other suffering if and when you meet up with it. God bless all your families. Please stand. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of, of heaven and earth, and earth. And in, and in Jesus Christ, Christ, his only Son, our Lord, our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pilate was crucified, died, died and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us now turn to the Lord and pray for our needs, for the needs of the world, especially for people suffering. And we say, Lord, touch us with your healing love. For the Church of God spread across the world, inspired by divine wisdom, 
that she may preach a message of forgiveness and healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, touch us with your healing love. For those who encounter difficulties in their communities and relationships, that they may rediscover the beauty of each other and seek for reconciliation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, touch, touch us, us with, with your, your healing, healing love. love. For our community, that, like Jesus, may we be moved with empathy and compassion by the suffering in our midst, so to try to be helpful to everyone at all times, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord touch, touch us, us with, with your, your healing, healing love. For those who are abandoned, the mocked, the speechless, and the addicted, may their dignity be restored and the joy of life rediscovered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord touch, touch us with, with your healing love. For all our departed brothers and sisters, that they may one day share in the joy of resurrection of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord touch, touch us with, with your healing love. For our Myanmar community, that they may be reassured that their family and friends are safe and that the situation in Myanmar may be resolved peacefully, we pray to the Lord. Lord, touch us with your healing love. Lord, grant us, we pray, the healing power to purify our desires and reconcile us to one another. We make this prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and we sisters, stand. that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Merciful Father, may this offering, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father of mercies. You have given us Jesus Christ, your Son, as our Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for children and for the poor, for the sick and for sinners, and he became a neighbor to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed, he announced to the world that you are our Father and that you care for all your sons and daughters. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise and bless your name and sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God of might. Heaven, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, 
and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until until you come come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Tarsisius, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Reconciled with Jesus Christ our Lord, let us pray to the Father, the Father of all, who lets the sun shine on the poor, the good, and the weak alike. Our Father, who who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy thy name. Thy Thy kingdom kingdom come. come. Thy Thy will be done done on earth as as it is is in heaven. heaven. Give Give us this day our daily bread, and and forgive forgive us us our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive forgive those who trespass trespass against us. us. And And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the the kingdom, kingdom, the the power, and and the glory are yours, yours, now now and and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take take away away the the sins sins of the world. world. Have Have mercy mercy on us. Lamb of God, you you take take away away the the sins sins of the world. world. Have Have mercy mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take take away away the the sins sins of the world. world. Grant Grant us us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am am not not worthy that that you should should enter under under my roof, roof, but but only say say the word, word, and my soul soul shall be healed. healed. Those who are attending the Mass online are now invited to recite the prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, 
I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as, as if, if you were, were already there, there and, and unite myself wholly to you. Never, never permit me to be separated, separated from you. From you. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Please wear your mask and leave your seat only when directed by an usher. Approach the priest or Eucharistic minister. Sanitize your hands before receiving the host by hand. Move to the side of the priest or Eucharistic minister. Remove your mask and consume the host. Replace your mask and return to your seat. Thank you.
Let us pray. Please stand. Loving and merciful Father, having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray that we may always long for that food by which we truly live. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us recite the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We pray especially for all the medical experts and researchers who work to develop vaccines. Bless their efforts with the wisdom from the Holy Spirit for the proper development and use of the vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and across the world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Ignatius, pray for us. for us. Please be seated for a few announcements. The applications for the First Holy Communion are now being accepted. Please apply at the English Center, and the deadline of application is today. Our Ash Wednesday is on February 17. Please be reminded that Ash Wednesday is a day of fast and abstinence. Fasting is limiting oneself to one full meal and two lighter meals. Abstinence is refraining from eating meat. The February issue of the English Bulletin is now available. Please take a copy for important information. The English Bulletin is also available to download from the St. Ignatius Church English website. Please take home your missalette. Please leave through the designated exit doors. Please do not congregate outside the church doors or by the church gates or inside the church grounds. Please do not eat in groups in Teresha Hall. Please practice social distancing within the church grounds. Thank you for your cooperation. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you and your families forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.
celebrating the Eucharist with us.